such like creepy ominous perfect october dracula weather i i'm really loving it anyways hello everyone good morning or happy happy time zone so i don't have like my makeup done or anything done that includes my meals i don't know what i'm gonna eat today so i wasn't gonna make a what i eat in a day video but today i feel like i have to because first of all i'm getting back on the wagon like this weekend again was a i mean i didn't eat crazy crazy but i did eat more than i was wanting to and a lot of things i didn't even track i'll, I'll be honest i didn't even track so i was like all right and i was a little bit more on track on sunday but i was like okay monday for sure like i'm doing it but i don't i don't know what i'm gonna eat and i'm going in with like zero clue and i feel like this is important too because this will also happen on your journey we're always so like meal prep you just be prepared like have your meals ready but sometimes you don't sometimes you just don't and that's life and I think my fridge is bare, so I have to go. I want to go to Trader Joe's, but I think I'm going to go to Stater Brothers. I don't know yet exactly where I'm going, but I'm going somewhere. Grocery will be done. So yeah, I'm just I'm just winging it for this morning. I'm because it's I'm really thinking about what I want for breakfast. I want something nice and warm because it's like pretty cool outside. It's really overcast. It was raining like an hour ago, but um, I didn't make my overnight oats. I didn't have the yogurt and I was like, uh, gotta get that too. So I think maybe some hot oatmeal. I don't really love, I do like hot oatmeal, but when it's like cold, I guess it's cold right now. And I do want something like warm that'll like give you a hug. My, I was going to cop out and go to Starbucks and get something, but I think I'll just get, I'll, I'll just make oatmeal. So let's go start with that. And I think this video is more for like my benefit to like keep me accountable. Throughout the day, I am going to eat things like fruits and vegetables. Hopefully, <laughs> ideally, if everything goes well. But I'm not going to show that because like that's fruit, that's fruit and vegetables. Come on. Like I don't need to be like, here's my banana. Like it's just just fruit and vegetables the pointed stuff i will show breakfast will have points so enough yakking let's let's just go make some breakfast all right so i'm a bit happier now here we have my little warm bowl of oatmeal just half a cup made it regularly and my nuts and more peanut butter that's three points and um oh no no it broke my tablespoon oh my god it broke my tablespoon i'm so sad about this oh man wow that has never happened before so um <laughs> i have my regular little tablespoon now just taking this up it is a bit hard in the morning when um i take it out of the fridge so one tablespoon is three points like I do like this brand it tastes pretty good but like you can use regular peanut butter it's two tablespoons is five points instead of six so that's the only thing if you use two um as you can see here it's like really hard I mean it broke my tablespoon my poor tablespoon <laughs> but yeah here we go so I just have just regular old half cup of oatmeal with yeah, with my peanut butter, my nuts and more. Maybe I won't use that from now on. No, I think I think I will because I do like the way it tastes. But I don't know. I'm just going to stick with good old Jif. And then five of these lilies are zero. So, or no. Yes, they are zero. So here we have it. Here's, and then I'm going to have a bottle of water to start it off with, like all my meals. So the only casualty was my one tablespoon. Rest in peace, little tablespoon. Oh, so sad. Okay, so now I'm going to have my little cherry chocolate cake thing. I don't know. But if you haven't seen my video that I made um, on this, it's out there if you want to know how to make it. You can see like the piping hot steam and oh my gosh. Now again, I used the wrong pan for this. Okay, so that's why I'm like taking it out and sort of making it a faux mug cake. But this is really delicious. It was just so nice to have on a nice little cold day and it's only one point one point on all three plans now if you add an 
egg or two eggs on green, of course it'll up the points, but I don't. I just use egg whites and this is, this is, again, I'm not neat. I'm not a professional. This is just what happened and yeah, it's so good. I love it. Do you like my little mug? I got it from Starbucks. They have like the Where I've Been series or Been series. I don't know. But yeah, so I got it with my wins. And it's just like pour all of that in. Now this, you can top it off with whatever you want. Ice cream. Uh, It was way too cold for ice cream. I'm not adding ice cream to it. But you can add ice cream. You can add fruit. You can add whipped cream. Whatever you want. And here we go. Here we have it. Time to enjoy this deliciousness. All for one point. Yeah. Amazing. Good old lunchtime. So I had a whole bunch of um, ground chicken. There we go. Ground chicken breast. And I'm just going to season it with some of this. I forget where I got this. I either got it from... Where did I get it from? I don't remember. I think it was the Mexican market. Or it might have been the place where I get my meat. I don't remember, but like you can see this everywhere. And I think it's like three or four teaspoons for zero points, but you really don't need that much. Um, I think I just added two. Yeah, I just added two. And then I just seasoned it like that and just mix it around a little. Yes. So good. I really like this seasoning. It just ups everything. So here I am and then just like break it in half because that's how I like my ground chicken breast. And for ground chicken breast on the green plan, it's four, it's four ounces for two points, something like that. Or is it five, five ounces? There we go. Five ounces for two points on green. And then I'm just adding some of this Trader Joe's uh, veganless chicken vegan yes no chickenless <laughs> chickenless whatever you know what i'm talking about if you go to trader joe's you know what i'm talking about the v the chickenless seasoning whatever it is i just added a little bit of that i don't know how many points that is per teaspoon or whatever i just like just put it in there it is what it is yeah there we go and then just some peas i'm boiling up to add to it and here we go. You could call this kima matter, which is like a Pakistani dish, but this is definitely not how you make kima matter. Like I will, I'll, I, maybe I'll do a tutorial on how to like actually make it, but this is my version of it. And then I just heated up a naan. It's a store, stone fire mini naan for five points. And this in total is nine, yes, nine point lunch. And then you just eat it with the naan and it's so warm, so hearty. I love it. Snack time. So I'm just adding 27 grams of regular cottage cheese to this toast. It's that um, Danish, that little Danish hack. It's so good. Um, this is just regular cottage cheese. It's not like low fat or anything because a couple grams, I think it was like 27 grams or something, is just zero points. And then I'm going to add this cinnamon toast crunch dust to it. I got this from Walmart. And one fourth of this dust is zero points. So in total, this whole Danish is going to be two points just because of the bread. And you can, add, you can use whatever bread you want again. And then all I'm going to do is just put this, pop this in the toaster oven on broil. Ooh, I'm so excited. And there it is, broiling away. It's not broiling right now. It's still turning on, but... <laughs> So I did not keep it in long enough. It's a new toaster oven. I'm still getting used to it. But this is, it was still so delicious. It's so good. And it's just like a nice little Danish hack. I'm obsessed. Dinner, honestly, I'm just going to make some soup. Just pouring in the Progresso um, garden vegetable. Yes, the garden vegetable soup. It's three points on green. What is the slow motion? I didn't even realize. Am I doing this or is it my phone? I don't know. But yeah, it's so warm and I loved it. It just 
kept me kept me happy happy camper and then just stirring it i don't know why it's going in slow motion but how it, hey it works it looks cool <laughs> It looks cool. And you know, there's no harm in just using shortcuts when you need to. No harm in that. Yeah. Dinner time. Here's how it looks overall. Ooh, look at all of this goodness. And all of this just for three points. Yeah, I'll take it. There's no way this is three points. But hey, you know what? That's what it says. So I'm about to head to bed in like an hour or so and I'm just gonna have just finish off the day with some of these treats um these are limited edition I had to get these these were like the, literally the last packet I haven't had oreos in a while so yeah and oh my gosh I wish you guys could smell it because it really smells so good if you can find these I would really suggest getting them because they're so good and I just want to take it out just to show you guys what it looks like inside Honestly, it just tasted like a regular Oreo to me. I don't know. I might have to have another one today. But I had one for three points, two or six. And then the oots, oots, however you say it, these are one point. So I used up four points and then I'll have four points rolling over to the next day that I really just don't want to eat right now. So that's what I ate in a day. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please like it. You know, hit that like button. So I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.